Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk to you about very much was um, the whole concept of character and developing character and how, how the idea came to you for this first book. Did it start with Daisy or how, how, do we, how do we get going? You know, I mean, everybody is completely different when it comes to writing books, as we all know. And lots of people start with a big idea or, you know, they, they've got a big plot or something like that. I almost always start with a character or a group of characters, even more than um, a situation. And I often don't even discover what the plot of the book is uh, until I've, you know, I'm, I'm well into writing it. So in this case, I mean, I was 46 years old. I'd never really written a novel before. Um, and I knew I was terrible at plot, and I am still terrible at plot. And actually, that's what stopped me from writing for most of my life. I thought, if you can't do plot, you can't write. Um, and then I kind of realized, well, um, maybe I could just quietly steal a plot. And so I did steal, you know, the kind of most classic uh, children's book plot of all time, which is Kid Goes to Live in Another Family. Mm. You know, and, and if you think back of all the books you've ever read, you know, the, I mean, everybody from Enid Blyton to, you know, Narnia, I mean, there, so many uh, books use that plot. So I started with um, this girl from New York going to live in the English countryside, which is a journey I sort of did at the age of 19 when I was leaving university and I came to England. Um, and I still have somewhere um, an email that um, <clears throat> I sent to a friend in New York City that she produced for me five years later. Um, and it said, Dear Sophie, I've started writing the great British novel. It's really boring. I think I'll throw in World War III. Oh, and, <laughs> and I mean, really, the plot kind of pretty much came about that way. But the characters, I knew I wanted, I, knew, I had an idea for a family of kind of eccentric, um, just odd, um, kids who were growing up almost a little bit wild um, and and I do remember you know although it was 10 years ago I remember sitting down and very carefully looking at, at name websites because I knew they needed names that telegraphed mm. quite a lot about who they were mm. and I mean I think that's maybe another conversation but but the names that you give your characters can actually I mean I always think never never use any bit of information that doesn't do a lot of jobs. Yeah. So never give somebody a random name. Mm -hmm. So if you call the, the kids in the family um, <clears throat> Osbert, Edmund, Isaac, and Piper, you know, you know you've got already, that gives everybody a kind of image, okay, you know, maybe a little bit hippie-ish, probably a little bit upper middle class, you know, a little intellectual, something going on there. And so then you don't have to use paragraph after paragraph describing exactly who they are.